Today I'm going to talk to you about some 17 hats alternatives, uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm an invitation designer and I love to teach creative entrepreneurs how to run successful businesses. Such a big part of that is having a streamlined backend system. So I love to review client management systems so that you can see which one is going to be right for your business. All the ones we're going to talk about today, I do have discount codes and links in the description so that you can uh, get a little bit of money off, save a little. We all love to save a little in our business. Um, so if you've been using 17 hats and you're looking for some alternatives, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and what specific features you're curious about so I can review those for you. Um, but I have a ton of other client management tutorials and comparisons on this channel if you want to uh, check out anything a little bit further. We'll just do a brief overview of four different options today. So we've got 17 hats and then we have three alternative options, HoneyBook, Dubsado, and Hello Bonsai. And I think these are all really wonderful systems. They're kind of the top ones in the, in the general creative industry. So it depends on exactly what you're looking for, which one is going to be right for you. One thing that I do love about 17 hats is that it kind of just works. Some of these other systems, you might have to do a refresh every now and again, or you might find a little bit of glitching. Like it's nothing too crazy in my experience, but um, 17 hats is the one system that I've used that just consistently really does work well. And it's it feels solid and it feels like it's going to work really well. And it's not necessarily the prettiest system. Um, and it doesn't necessarily allow all the customization that you always want. But I think that something that I like about the system is just that it's going to work and it feels really reliable. Um, something very similar in my opinion, um, is Dubsado. It's probably the most similar to 17 hats, but it is a little bit more from a design perspective and you can see how similar these are. We've got contacts, leads, projects, calendar, you know, projects, reporting calendar, all of this is very, very similar overview uh, from a dashboard perspective and from a look perspective. And you can do a lot of the same things that you can do in 17 Hats in Dubsado. Um, they have a client portal. I've got videos on all these features if you want to check them out further. Uh, one thing that I think Dubsado does have that 17 Hats doesn't is their workflows. And I have a video on this, but in general, a workflow is basically just automating things in 17 hats. You're able to automate a few things. So you can add a workflow template. Let's just oh, test. <laughs> test workflow. That's what we've done in the past, apparently. And the things that you can add to it, you can add it to do an action or a pause. And all their actions are pretty good. Like send an email, send a questionnaire, quote, contract invoice. These are all the things that personally I think you need. 17 Hats is probably second in workflows um, from all the systems that I've seen. They have everything that you could possibly need. Although um, some of the things that you'll see in Dubsado that you can do are just like a just a tiny bit more robust. And some of that is just like holding the actions, pausing the workflow, um, starting another workflow. So there's just a few things in here that I feel like you can't do in 17 Hats. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more robust workflow, um, then Dubsado will be good for you. It also has a really great scheduler and you can integrate that into the workflow as well. So you can get the scheduling of appointments. There's two form types that Dubsado has that 17 hats doesn't, which I think are really powerful. The first is a public proposal. So when you go into a proposal, uh, when you go into the share options, I don't have any setup that I can show you right now, uh, but you can share them kind of as a lead capture form. So when you uh, put, you can put your packages, someone can go in, get your packages, go ahead and get the invoice, pay, et cetera, without you even touching that. So I love to use a public proposal for anything where there's like a set cost. A lot of my work is not like that because we do custom invitation design, but if there's a set cost, you can go ahead and set up through a proposal and they can go ahead and book and everything, start a workflow, schedule an appointment, do anything that you wanna do um, through Dubsado, which I really love. The second type of form is a sub agreement. And so this allows you to have a second contract type form on an account and you have all the features of a regular form. So you have photos, you have drop downs, you have pictures, you have text boxes, you have all of the things that you need here. Um, and then you also have a signature at the bottom. So after I've already got the contract, this is really important for me. As you can see, I use it as a design proof and they have to sign off that everything is 
ready to print, they agree that any additional liability or changes are on them after they've signed this off. And this is legally binding. So I love this. And it's something that I haven't seen in other systems. You can sometimes add an additional contract, but you often don't have the same form features with like photos and everything um, as you do um, on a general form like you will here in Dubsado. There are two other systems I want to talk about. Um, frankly, I think 17 Hats and Dubsado are very, very similar in capability, and the other two are a little bit more different. They have a lot of the same basic stuff. They have the files, the projects, the client management, sending forms, et cetera, um, but neither of these systems has some of those workflow capabilities. So if you are, if that's something you're looking for, definitely check out Dubsado. If you want something very similar, to 17 hats, check out Dubsado. If you're looking to save money, for instance, then HoneyBook might be a good system for you. You can get started for less than $5 a month if you use our discount code. Um, so I love that they have kind of that starter plan here. Uh, there's also a system called Client Joy that I have another review on that you can use for free forever if you're only using certain features. So if cost is an issue, uh, maybe check out HoneyBook or that Client Joy video. One of HoneyBook's big things is that they have an app. I know 17 Hots does as well. Um, HoneyBooks works really, really well. Dubsado does not have an app. So if that's something that you really like about uh, 17 Hots, check out HoneyBook. They have a very similar interface. Um, you can just view all your projects and you can customize how they go through your process flow. That's something that in 17 Hots, you can search them by name or tag very easily, uh, but you only have these four blocks here and you can't customize that as far as I know. Um, you can customize all of this really easily. So if you have something where if you're an invitation designer, you could have design, production phase, assembly phase, ship, etc. So you know where all your projects are. Um, that could be really helpful for you. And HoneyBook is just coming out with this smart file. I'll get a video on it soon, um, but it's basically kind of like a workflow capability. So it's a, it's the ability for you to have a ton of customization over uh, different things that you send out. So it can be a brochure combined with an invoice, combined with a contract, combined with just a lot of steps and it makes the process really easy. So once you're able to watch more information on that, um, that's a really fun thing that you can do in HoneyBook that kind of replaces those workflow options that you're looking for. Another thing with HoneyBook is it works really well for uh, people who need to upload a ton of orders or have a lot of different projects. You don't have to enter everyone in manually, but you can upload them with a CSV file. You can also use their Chrome extension to basically bring HoneyBook into your inbox. If you use Gmail, I have another video on it, and I frankly think this is game changing. If you use G Suite for your business, check that out because it is a decision making factor. They also have the ability to do batch emails, kind of like email marketing. Um, it's not going to replace an email marketing platform, but I like this capability. If you are working with a lot, like a large volume of clients. And lastly with HoneyBook is they're their own payment processor. They go through Stripe, but um, it's a little easier to integrate with QuickBooks because you're not going to get two different amounts. Whereas the ones that use outside payment processors like 17 half steps auto, et cetera. Um, anything that integrates into QuickBooks, you're going to have to manually go in and put in the amount for uh, the Stripe or whoever took out as a payment processing fee, you don't have to worry about that on HoneyBook and you don't have to have a separate account for payment processing with Stripe, PayPal, Square, et cetera. Um, HoneyBook doesn't have quite as many integrations as like Dubsado and 17 Hats does. So if you rely on like Zapier integrations or something like that, you're not gonna find that as much with HoneyBook and they are only available in the US and Canada at this point. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about Hello Bonsai, which I think is the most different of all of these systems. So just depending on your reasons for leaving 17 Hats, uh, there are, you might really like Hello Bonsai. The big thing that I love about Hello Bonsai is this uh, timing feature. So their time tracking features are really, really good. If you work in a job where time tracking is important, if you are a lawyer, an architect, or something where you're billing by hour, um, Hello Bonsai has a lot of features for that. You can add your hourly rates directly on the invoice. You can start the timer from up here and connect it to a job. Um, so I think that is a really powerful feature here. They kind of divide a little bit differently, whereas all the other three are really divided by project. Um, I You see clients as a head of projects here in Hello Bonsai. And then projects really has kind of the same look as clients. So I don't feel like it's as project focused. So if you're working with, if you prefer a client focus, then this might be a good system for you. And then they have a lot of really cool Invoicing features, let's see. So here's how you can set up all your payments, which is great. And I'm going to just show you 
all their invoice settings here. So this is where you can have the client pay transaction fees on payments. Make sure that's legal in your area if you're going to do that, because in some places it is not legal. Default late fee, I love this. I've never seen this on another client management platform. It's really great. Um, the days until due, the VAT number, which is really cool. And then there's just certain things that you can do, like allowing the tipping, hiding the timesheet, showing the link to the timesheet. So if you're using a timesheet, just such a great integration here for people who do. Um, and then if you have any, if you bill in different units than quantity, like hours, pages per word, et cetera, then you can hide the units field. And then you can also use this three decimal values, which the example here is if you're charging, you know, 0.2 cents per word. So I really like their invoicing features here in Hello Bonsai. I think it's, I think it's great for people who have kind of unique things that they need to charge for. And then lastly, I love the accounting features in Hello Bonsai better than any of the other systems. I still fully believe that if you are going to be accepting payments from anywhere outside of your client management system, that you should just have QuickBooks as like a common place because everything integrates with QuickBooks really well. However, if you are only accepting payments through one of these systems, then you could use the accounting features in them but still Hello Bonsai is my favorite one. And they have this additional subscription you can get um, that I think is five or $10 a month. And it's gonna help you with your quarterly taxes and reminders. It's going to send those, file those for, or help you file those, give you the reminders for them, download your Schedule C's. So it's gonna help you so much on your taxes, which is something that um, none of the other systems really do. They all have accounting features, but in my opinion, they're all lacking a little bit, especially if you are accepting payments from anywhere else. Like if you're ever getting shop payments online, shop uh, payments on Etsy, payments in person, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of overview of the main points that I would compare 17 hats with HoneyBook, Dubsado, and Hello Bonsai. Um, again, Dubsado is going to be your most similar one. So if that's what you're looking for, I think Hello Bonsai is the most different one. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're looking for and what features you'd like me to explore. I have a ton of other videos on this. And if you decide to try out any of these systems, please check out the description because I have discount codes you can use on all of them. Thank you so much for watching.